through uh, the shimmy, through the shimmy of the structure of the song. It's something I've been thinking about. I haven't taught you guys uh, the structure of the song. Um, so this is a, a rockabilly type tune, um, and it has a, a lot of uh, in, in common with the blues that we studied earlier. Um, except it's not a 12-bar blues. It's really there's three sections to this song. There's the the verse, there's the chorus, and there's the bridge. <clears throat> and the bridge is the part of the song that bridges uh, from the chorus back to the verse. Um, each one of those sections is eight bars. Uh, and the first section is going to be a 1-4-5 chord progression, just like the blues uh, that we've, we did before. So it's eight bars for each section. So let's just count that out so you can see what I'm talking about. So this is the first section. This is the verse. I'm not going to sing it. I'm just going to do the, uh, the, the, the guitar. But I'm also going to count the, the, the beat so you can see what I mean. It's eight bars. So it goes like this. the verse. The second section is the chorus, and that is also eight bars, and it goes like this. I'll count it. You ready? One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, six, two, three, four, seven, two, three, four, eight, two, three, four. And that's the chorus. And then the, the, the third section is the bridge, and that again is eight, eight bars. So let's count them. You ready? It goes one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, six, two, three, four, seven, two, three, four, eight, two, three, four. So let's do it all together so you can see there's three sections that are each eight bars. So we're going to do it all together. I'm going to count each section out uh, one through eight bars. So it goes one, two, three, four. Guitar, what I'm looking for is something like that. If you can't do all those uh, strums, you could do. On bass, what I'm looking for is I'm looking for a driving bass beat. There's not a lot of notes to play. Uh, you really are only going to play four notes the whole song. But I'm looking for something that's a thumping, driving bass beat. So I'm looking for something like... Like that, a driving bass beat. Um, there's one part I want to talk about with the instruments on the on the bass and the drums. When you get to the part where it goes um, the, with the seven, two, three, four, and then the eight, and then all the other instruments stop except the drum and the bass. At that point, I want the bass to go eight beats. Bump, 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 bump. And the drums at that point will give eight beats going. So it's going to go. Let me get the right fingerings here. And Bump, 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 bump. Everybody else stops, but the bass is going to bump, 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 and the drums will do the same beat. Um, and that's going to be at the end of the chorus and at the end of the bridge. Um, at the end of the song, the last time that you do it's going to be, it's going to be. We're going to hold it out for a while, so it's going to. We're going to actually hold it out for uh, three bars, and then on the fourth bar. We're going to um, go to the. 
So that's going to go like this. This is the last time through. And I'd actually like that to slow down as it goes. So it goes, let's do it again, and I'm going to slow it down so you can see what I'm talking about. Bum, 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 and the drums are going, and the flute's going, and the chung is going to do, so let me show you on the on the piano what I'm talking about here. This is for Anna. So Anna, you remember when we were doing the the boogie woogie, and there were those boogie woogie left hand patterns, all those different ones. I'm looking for something like that, but the basic beat is going to be something like, and I'm not a good enough piano player to do this, but but it's going to be something like, it's going to be or it could be some version that you want to do like Remember, uh, and I'm not good enough on the piano, but go back and look at your boogie woogie left hand patterns and find one that you like. And then with your right hand, you're going to be just jamming on it. So I'm going to play it just the melody once, um, but I can't, I'm not good enough to jam, so it goes. Actually, when you do that transition from here to here, if you can throw this in and go, and then at the end, uh, we're also going to do the. that we talked about in class last time. That's at the very end. Um, so that's it for the piano. Um, for the chung, just you know what the beat is, Abby, um, from what I just showed you on the guitar, and you're going to play the notes on the chung uh, with the um, style that we talked about in class. On, on flute, what I'm looking for is something like, like this. I'm looking for a, a solo at one point, but for the rest of the song, I'm looking for some happy notes that go something like, so it goes something like this. Also looking for the for the the solo to uh, be something like.
So that is the shimmy. Um, I think what I want, the way I want to do it is have, we're going to go through and sing it once in, uh, in uh, sing it once, and then do a solo on piano. And I want Anna to do a really good, you know, fun, boogie-woogie, just jamming, improvising on, on that on your solo. And then one solo with the flute, uh, with, with Jasmine playing the flute uh, for a solo. And then the rest of the song is going to be with vocals. Uh, that is my breakdown of the shimmy, and I hope uh, this helps you all um, practice. Thanks. Bye.